God. Okay, okay, and welcome to uh, our second episode of our little world tour of Fife. <laughs> this week we went to the sleepy town of Markinch. Is it sleepy? It's a nice. It, w- it, w- it was it when was we arrived. It's six forty in the morning. It was, yeah, <laughs> yeah, it was, <laughs> it was, yeah. It was an early start. They, they, they did us a great turn actually, and letting us play out before the members and the visitors, which meant we have the the greens perfect. The greens are the green keepers are just off them. And I have to say the greens were perfect. Yeah, the greens were were really good. I was I was very impressed by the, by the in fact the whole condition of the course it was brilliant. Really, I, I, the thing I love about about the places you, you drive in and you've got that kind of magnolia drive, don't you? It's this it's the Scottish magnolia drive with a couple of speed bumps. Yeah, the speed bumps. Basically, it's beautiful, lovely big trees. You turn around the corner, you see the club. It's lovely. Just a couple of speed bumps. Yeah, a couple of speed bumps, and then you pass Balburnie House Hotel, which is a lovely place for a meal. Scott, you went there with the wife recently. It did, yes, yes. It's a bit it was posh. Wonderful. Quite yeah. posh, yeah. Yeah, it can't, can't, can't hide, hide it. Can't hide it, eh? Can't hide it. <laughs> <laughs> it's been a good year for teaching. <laughs> anyway, um, but yeah, we want to, I suppose the, the idea of this World Tour Fife is to both visit one or two of the tourist tracks, but also go off track a little bit and see some of the places that maybe wouldn't be on some people's radar if they're coming from outside of Fife to play. Yeah, everybody always, you know, you see it in social media. Not that I'm a huge social media fan, but you see everybody looking for the hidden gems. So yeah. we're trying to cover one or two of them and, and let them know that you don't have to pay an absolute fortune for green fees. Morning, Scott. We're here early before Stuart, before Donald. Winners show up early, right? That's right, yeah. I mean, you know, what we get up against here? We're up against, you know, you get you get like the Paul Laurie inspired beer, and then you got Stuart Ricky, uh, Stuart Whiteford, which is which is the yippee beer. The yippee beer, exactly. and then we have got the tortoise. Scott, my, my last my last game here, it was a victory in the young, assi- in the, I think it was a young assistants tournament. Young? I, I wasn't very young. <laughs> you were an assistant, yeah. I played in that event, uh, and uh, good thing that you've got good memories here because yeah. I certainly don't. Yeah. But no, here we go. So we're basically just going to win. Yeah. Early doors. I, I can't see there being a problem, to be honest. No. Like, let's talk about the first whole thing. M- myself and you, Donald, we attacked the hole with driver. Peter and Scott, of course, played safe with irons. <laughs> That's correct, yes. Yeah, so yeah. so their safety shot went in the trees and our attacking shot went in the fairy. Correct, correct. But you, you, you just said two minutes ago that the first hole is a big dog leg. It's practically straight. See, I was trying to dog leg it around. See, I thought you, you obviously told me it was a dog leg, so I was trying to hook my two iron around the corner. But you I, did? Yeah, I did. It's straight <laughs> in the trees. It, yeah, it was a bad start by me and Scott. Yeah, we didn't get off to a good one. No, not at all. That was practicing my, uh, good thing I've been practicing my punch out from the trees. So Scott, what's the thoughts here? Uh, this is Philly Mick. I'm just going to get it back and play. Okay. Yeah. This could be a bit Philly funny. Mick. Yeah, well worth the wait. <laughs> ah, we'd let the old boys have a wee early start, Scott. Uh, right, so this, the second hole was up the hill, short par four. I burst the driver. Oh, Miles. Two hundred. You, you drove the ball very well that day, Stuart. Yeah, until it mattered. Yeah, <laughs> until it mattered. <laughs> uh, but yes, uh, yeah, again, a, a short, short par four, again, a bit of a blight. You don't know how far 
you've hit your second. It's difficult to judge a second shot. I I, I, that's been unfair to that hole. It's blind. I think it's actually a really good hole. Second. I think, I think so as well. Uh, very, very, very tight. You were very brave hitting driver. Uh, mm. It's a good hole. There's, there's a gap in the trees that if you kind of leave yourself that sort of distance off the tee, you, if you leak it a wee bit, you can get away with it. But it's a good hole. That's a question off the tee. And it's only blind if you play it the way you played it, as in. Um, you can hit to the plateau and then it's no longer blind. So you, yeah. you know you obviously have a longer shot in, but if you if, if you're like me, you, you, you like to see a flag, you need to try and hit to the plateau rather than down at your wedge area. Well, we said this was going to be a short par four, but Peter, what, how far you got in here? It says two fourteen, Stuart. <laughs> Can't even write. The hole was only three hundred yards long. <laughs> Tucked that a wee bit. Very nice. I'll get you a par, Donald. Yep, that'll be good. Lovely. Oh, none of them are dead yet. Another bogey. Is that your effort? Yeah. <laughs> for the half. You wanted a putt to beat Brett Rumford from this kind of distance, Peter. Yeah. <laughs> oh, wow. Great putt. Oh my god. <laughs> nice. That's not bad. That was pish. I, I mean, it was pathetic. <laughs> so it, was, it, was, it was missed after the first bit. <laughs> okay, so then on to the first uh, par three of the um, of the day. Uh, Donald, what yeah. happened? Yeah, I, 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 I don't like that hole. No? No. Why is that? Um, I kind of hit it a wee bit long and left. I pulled it a wee touch and I lost the ball. <laughs> So no, happens no we, keep, we keep saying, you know, you I lost the ball for the first time in three years at Burnt <laughs> Island. And this is our second visit, and I've lost the ball at a par three now. Should we, uh, we should really be over there, Scott. Can't be bothered, though, can you? <laughs> Cannot be bothered. No. It's miles away. Don't know shouldn't wear shorts if he's going to be going about the cabbage all day. No, 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 you'll get ticks. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, Dad, you obviously didn't make par either, Stuart. From the bunker, you were in yeah, you were left. there, weren't you? Yeah, I got up and down and down. <laughs> <laughs> so, so we lost that hole. Yeah, that, that, we won the first, so that's us back to old square. Yeah, definitely not Justin Rosie. Definitely Scott Rosie. That's the worst part I've ever hit by human beings. That's being. fine, Stuart. No. You happy, Pete? It's for Eagle. Just, just sit there, ball. Good pop. Not bad. Yeah. <laughs> Par five, six. Like it? Hmm. For me, I hit driver and was like on a down slope behind trees, and it dogs like right up the hill, so making fun of me. There's no uh, trees in the middle of the fairway, Scott. Well, that's it. I don't hit it there. But for me, it's it's not a driver, so you almost have to hit iron, iron wedge or iron wood. Well, I, quite, I, I, just, I like par five. Wrong, I like par fives that you can just hit driver on and and have a chance to reach because I hit an okay drive, but the the way that everything sloped down, it completely. So you like nice, out. you like nice easy par fives, yeah. easy golf courses. It's just not a driver hole. You just hit back. It's the same as the the, the the second hole. You hit back to the plateau. You hit straight up. It, it's a lot easier. It's easily easily played that way. It's kind of a two three iron and then a six iron from the top of the hill. So if you start going down the bottom, you got that's, blind. That, and that's for you, Peter. Yeah, that's not for me. <laughs> <laughs> I'm well, you driver three wood nine iron. <laughs> <laughs> that's a great shot, Peter. 
Score. It's alright, it's fine. Good touch. See that? Okay, then the, the ninth hole, uh, I like the 9th tee shot, fighting tells you to hit a draw and you've got to do it, um, I think it's a good tee shot the ninth. Again, it's one of those holes that you don't, you know, it, 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 like Stuart says, it asks you to hit a draw, but I think if you, the more and more you play it, why even bother hitting the draw? You just hit it out to the right, don't you? I mean, it's not, it's not really a hole, you need to be going in from the left hand side, you hit it out to the right, you've got a better line up the green anyway, it's, it's, it's a hole that you take the right at rough, if you're playing it sensibly all day long, I would say. Okay. So but you it? had a lovely drive, yeah, well done. So it, yeah, <laughs> okay. Okay, thank you. Thanks, wait, we're, we're, it was all square at that point, I think we should... Yeah, you won that all. Donald Birdie. Oh, you went, you Donald had Birdie. close. Yeah. yeah, I knocked Did it stiff and he's never gave me it. Well, it wasn't he stiff then, was it? Yes! Donald, how does it feel? Yes, a birdie. It's my, my first of the day. Our first of the day. Fantastic. Yeah. And just at a crucial the, time. Just at the right time. So, Scott. Yes. We've just lost the front nine. <laughs> that was awful. I mean, we've both got our Z games. Z. We're only, Z. We're only Z. one down. Z. Z, Z. Um, it's so embarrassing. It's we've not had a birthday. It's flat calm. Yeah. It's I'm hitting it sideways. Yeah. Right, so then you get into the back nine. First, the 10th hole, again, is, 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 uh, is one, uh, the blind tee shot cost me there because I didn't know there was those bunkers right. You know? Mm. But if I'd see, played the course before, I would have just hit it left and it would have been quite an easy. I did know the bunkers were there. But yeah. And hit it in them. <laughs> yeah, maybe I would have as well, to be honest. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I think it's I think it's a it's a tricky tee shot, isn't it? I mean, you've got that out of bounds left. You're obviously going to hug the bunker line anyway. Mm -hmm. um, so because that's a short route, and it's the shortest route. Yeah. yeah so um, yeah, I mean, just you guys just don't have a distance to carry the bunkers, but that's fine. Okay, that's correct. But it was half and four, was it? No, I uh, won that hole. Oh, you won it with four. I thought. Yes. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. No. Yeah, Peter used his, that, Pete. used his power there. Yeah. Uh, to his advantage. It, it actually happens. He uses these tour balls and tour clubs though. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. We, can't, we, we can't get them. No, we can't Can we talk them. about that a wee minute? No, no, let's not do that. Because that annoys me when people think that Peter uses different equipment to me. Yeah. He doesn't. He does. It's his arms. <laughs> oh, jeez, Scott, that looks good. Oh, slow and rough. Oh, no, it's getting there. Oh, that's decent. Well done. Another birdie. God, we're racking them up now. Yeah. Okay. Like so, eleventh hole is par three down the hill. Quite a nice, inviting par three again. But we all just sort of made boring threes, really. There wasn't yeah. Too much, not much going on. It was uh, a. That was a. Some good chances it? though. It was about one eighty or something, and Pete stood on the tee with like a pitching wedge or an nine iron. It was nine iron. I got again. I got mocked for them a club choice, but you got to remember the first. But anyway, it was the right club. So, but we all. Um, yeah, I'm not going to argue something that knows right. So, um, it, it's for once. We we actually had some decent decent chances at birdie there, but again, not even there wasn't even like a knee bend. It was like all of them missed by miles. <laughs> it's rubbish. Yeah. Our putting was awful. All four of us. Do it. Do it. Uh, then you've got the 12th. Great hole. Gr great hole, yep. Best hole in the course. Best hole in the course? Not the signature hole. Oh, right. But the best hole in the course. I think it's the best yes. driving hole in the course. Yep. I'm not... The second shot's okay, but I think the driving, the, the drives, it's, it's framed. It tells you what shot you want to hit. Um, you're in trouble if you go left or right, or you've got a slight more bailout left. It's, it, it, ask the question and, and you've got to produce a golf oh, shot. If you're playing stroke play tournament, would you hit driver at that hole? No. Yes. 
<laughs> That's a silly question. You just want to reach in two, Donald. Yeah, correct. <laughs> I remember I said I was. I had a great shot in the trees. I, I was back in my stance. I was like, Donald, get get me on camera here. Get me on camera. Back in my stance, I had this low, beautiful hooking. You did. Yeah, a recovery shot. It was like Seve. And then he's Sevy. <laughs> Sevy's my <sis. laughs> And then he said, "Oh, I took a photo." <laughs> then I had to <laughs> so, okay. Good camera work. I like that. I didn't, I didn't know that. Yeah. It was only a good shot here. Really. So disappointed. I was actually genuinely annoyed at that at the time. But anyway, uh, so yeah, that happened at that hole, and then we halved it in fours as usual. I think yeah. actually after all that, I ended up having to hold about a five footer for the half. Yeah, yeah. Scott had a good chance there for his bird, didn't it? You a good yeah, I, shot in. I hit three wood off the tee, a little bit down the right hand side, which isn't like me. Uh, and I had to kind of manufacture one and use the slope on the left, but counted for nothing because uh, Stuart was nails with the putter from five feet in. Yep. <laughs> yeah. Well yeah, yeah. The fourteenth hole. So that, this hole was funny. I find it a thirteen, thirteen, so thirteen. Thirteen. Yeah, it's a tough. I don't really know what to do off the tee at the thirteenth. Well, it's into sure. the wind, isn't it? So well, not well, all the time. That, that day it was. Sorry. <laughs> so blatantly obvious Stuart. right so it was into the wind normally you can get up there and drive it up onto the green but it's into the wind so then you've got sort of <laughs> that's normally you can well you can so but you but can you've got, but you've got a tree in the middle of the area haven't you so you guys you guys try to hit um you, you know you're burrowing low draws and scott you hit a nice t-shirt didn't you yeah you just right one. behind the tree it was lovely yeah, yeah but you had a ch- you had a shot yes. i mean we were watching them play pinball all the way up there I mean, they hit, <laughs> your t-shirts there were probably the most woeful pathetic knee bendy start left and hook it it wasn't even start right it was just like yeah. t-shirts about. They, and they were good in comparison to our second shots but <laughs> <laughs> no. well, I, I went first <laughs> Donald's like Donald's saying uh, this one's got you written all over this shirt a wee low hook <laughs> of course of course it didn't happen it went right with a fade I think <laughs> and the club came fleeing at my hand uh, no that wasn't that wasn't pretty but actually you trumped mine because <laughs> <laughs> you were trying to it's the same kind of shot not oh, quite more will fade a wee low draw yeah the tree was it, it was even it wasn't even in, it wasn't in play at all <laughs> no, it wasn't <laughs> God. Did you not see the tree there? It's just, uh, I'm kind of lost for what? The tree wasn't in the way. The tree wasn't in the way. <laughs> I, and I, I could see the shot. I thought, this, oh, this is just perfect. Yeah. <laughs> I saw it as well. I think it's so disappointed. This is going to look really shot. good on camera. Yeah, that's the kind of thing. This, oh, that's, that people will think I can play. <laughs> it's disappointing. It's a start. Just when we finish that hole and you think, do you know what, Scott, our opponents have maybe got out of jail and the, that's, the, that's as bad as they can play, though. Then we step up on a par three, right? And we're thinking, I mean, we're just looking at it as a funnel, so we hit our tee, tee shots up there on the green. And they played it as a par four. It's <laughs> uh, over. So, uh, where's my finger? It's over there, folks. It's about there. I could use this for Stuart's, that's good because we've not got a shot tracker. Oh, that one is about there. Oh, heard it. It's happening there, guys. You come one down and you just collapsed. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's my club. Yeah, oh, thank you. Right. Stuart, Stuart, I mean, come on. It's, so, only a, it's only a six iron or something like that. We had to laser yeah. our second shot. <laughs> we, we actually did. I'm, 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 I'm looking at my watch and then, eh? <laughs> they de- they def- we definitely weren't chipping into the hole. No, no. It was no. pretty full wedges. <laughs> Still got a half though. Of course you, you did. You got no. a great up and down. Of course. I was thinking this is Seve our... like. This is our, this is our moment. We're going to push on here. This is it. But no. Nah. Stuart comes out with a great up and down. Do you want me to laser this one? Well, this is a par three in case anyone's wondering. The green's still way up there, and our opponents are way back here and here. I don't even know who's to go. One's got 57, one's got about 56. Big divot. Mm hmm. Yeah. Yeah.
Ooh, it's hoping for the releaser. Oh, he's got it. Very good, good shot, Stuart. Good Very good. Yep. Still fight yet. Please with that one. Yeah, we par. <laughs> Fine. Is that left or right, is it? Oh, oh, wait, 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 wait. What? Well, he's putting out. Is he's putting. Right? You keep it a score, Scott. Um, it's a gimme. Staying. Come on, ev nobody. Okay, yeah. I'm just waiting for when he's to say it. Nobody would, nobody would ever not give that. Just put it in, Scott, and I'll get out of it. Yeah, Pick it up, yeah. get out of the way. <laughs> so Stuart's got this for a, a half on this. What's, I mean, the local's formidable par three. We've given you a couple of putts this kind of win. Sorry. Have you? Even cover. Not St. Hillers. But Stuart, it's you. Idiot. Just tap it in, Paul. <laughs> it's a gimme. No, it's not. Was it ever in doubt? Yeah, Never man. in doubt. Good three. Okay, then we're on to the, the, the couple of dog legs that I mentioned earlier on 15 and 16. 15, Pete, you know, you, you can cut m much more off that dog leg than you think you do. I actually nice. cut, I, went, I had it way right and it was left half of the fairway. So, and of course, Peter, you were on the, the road <laughs> to star. Yeah, I was I was out of town again. But yeah, yeah, I was I was trying to I was trying to brace in that one. That didn't come off. Sometimes they do, sometimes they don't. But mm. Mine was still rising and it went out of bounds. But you know, Scott played the hole properly. I would say he had a lovely little sort of necky, slicey one. Sorry, <laughs> a, a, a nice a nice fade round the corner into, um, into the rough. Beautifully, beautifully executed. Thank um, you. Stuart went way right and and if anything's up in the same spot and Donald did his usual two twenty round the, um, and he was fine. Um, but from there. You know, I'm just an onlooker now, obviously, so I'm not going to slag you because I'm out the hole. But the rest of the hole, you played like a 27 handicapper. No, I think 27's been pretty generous, to yeah. be fair. Oh, Jesus. In the bushes. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Go, 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 go. Oh, no. Uh-oh. All square. Okay, so that meant the score was all square with three to play. Uh, dog yeah. leg left, and I went for. I saw it. I saw. I mean, it's show. a ninety degree dog leg. This. Yeah, and, yeah. and I, to be fair, I had a ninety degree hook. <laughs> a bit early. Uh, I just hooked too early. Yeah, so I was out the hole pretty much. And then you guys all played quite nicely up to the right. But so let's well. uh, come on now. <laughs> this is I was witness and got on camera the most beautiful tomahawk club throw from Mr. Donald Mackay. Yeah. It was absolutely fantastic. I would just like to make it clear I'm not really a club throw. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Good looker. Oh, it's turning over short. Oh. 12 feet. That thing's pure. Another, that was a good par though. Yes! Yeah, well, I got a wee bit worried about that one, Donald. I, I, it's not my favourite length, but no. I'm pretty good on camera under pressure with these ones these days. What is your favourite length? A uh, six or seven inches. Against one in this hole. Oh, it's a bit drop, tricky, but it's perfect. Yeah, going to bunker. Oh, it's pure. <laughs> and then we run to the final hole, all square, going down the last. Why are you laughing? Yeah, because you had, well, always have your moments, Stuart. Okay, well, my tee shot, I was watching my video of my tee shot there, and it was very similar to the, the, the swing at the 17. There was a lot of knees involved. <laughs> oh, I like the That's perfect. That was fine though. Straight down the middle, isn't it? It's fine. Yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm unbelievably happy. <laughs> it was a yip that went straight. 
How do you feel this game's gone, Donald? Well, I feel as though the golf, golf's not, we've not been at our best today, Stuart. No. Uh, we've, nah. we've struggled off the tee. Particularly off the tee, yeah. yeah. Our approach shots haven't been great. No. And the putting has been really quite poor. Yeah, so, however. All round bad. Yeah, but, but we're all square. <laughs> We're all square, right? Against, against, against your team too. It just shows you, I mean, if we play anything like good ever, we always win, eh? That's not a problem, not a problem. Yeah. But, all okay. to play for, it's our third game in the series and it's down the last again. Yeah, it's, it's amazing. So, okay. Quite exciting. Let's see how this goes. And then Donald. <laughs> <laughs> Donald's had it left into a bunker, sadly. Yeah. But from there, you know, you just have to, I can't reach the green then two. Just, just you know, duff it out. You just duff it out over the hill, it'll run down a bit. But but you hit the most pathetic, you know, <laughs> I a shot. I didn't see the shot. <laughs> I, I, I just hit it heavy. All right. But really right. heavy, Donald. I mean, the only thing you need to do is make sure you get the Listen, ball. Listen, we just forget about me this <laughs> Completely Pete's standing next to me at this point in time saying, are you confident in your partner? Is he going to hit this in the green? I, and my worries to Pete were, I'm a wee bit more worried about the cars in the car park. <laughs> <laughs> okay, 197 yards, wind's into my face, there's water short. And I need to hit a long iron, and I'm not very good at long arms. <laughs> and you're... Oh, <laughs> there's a Sergio at Valhalla jump. <laughs> Stuart, what happened there? Keep this video for the insurance purposes. I mean, that, that was not a golf swing. <laughs> it was like a weak heave. It's just, I was scared to hit the ball. Uh, yeah, uh, there's lots of wrong moving moving parts. And the ball's fleeing, I mean, fast. It's a low three iron, it's going fast to the cars. Uh, and it was, it was, it was a scary time. And you heard, we heard a big crash, bang, wallop. Yeah. And I'm thinking there's four or five guys gathering in the car park. Looking at a car as well. Right? I know. <laughs> I mean, me and Scott were finding this hilarious. We hear Stuart walking towards the car park. And there's a gathering of people already checking out the car. <laughs> Not much sympathy from the group here. Uh, I suppose I'll put the phone away pretty soon in case I get punched in the face from the owner. That's why you park your car at the other side of the that's, car park. That's right, yeah. Anytime Stuart Whiteford's around, or any Whiteford, any of us, any <laughs> TGS players are around, don't park near the golf course. I'll turn it off just in case there's a fight. Yeah, I was finding that hilarious because I thought those guys are just waiting to give you some abuse. Mm. There's going to be fights. And you were ready to record the whole I thing. I did, I recorded it. I did, I recorded it. <laughs> okay. But luckily it hit the it hit the fence, didn't it? I can't and it came that back. So lucky. And th this is what I was thinking last night, I was lying. How am I going to describe this? Because the second shot off a perfect flat lie with a three iron is terrifying to me. And yet, in the rough, the ball's sitting up, which is, you know, sometimes I, there's not worse than the ball sitting up in the rough, is there? But yep. actually it was probably in my favour because I had to hit the ball up and high over a tree. But, and you know, with all the troubles, I mean, I could have easily gone underneath it and duffed it five yards or anything could have happened. But I felt more comfortable hitting that shot over the out of bounds, over a massive tree, out the deep Was the rough. fence in your way as well? Yeah, a yeah. wee bit. And, and onto the green then hitting an iron shot from the middle of the fairway <laughs> off a flat lie. <laughs> okay, so panic averted, it wasn't a car. It was the fence. He's happy. Never seen anyone here before. What's he got? Oof. A lot. Oh, Chippy Pro's just played one. Please, no way. Very impressive, Stuart. What? In his element. That's just so Seve esque. It's, it's unbelievable. The, the chippy pro comes right back into it there, doesn't it's, it? It's, it's funny though that when you're think when you think about the shot you're playing rather than a swing, you know, for me anyway, but I'm sure it's the same for most people. If you're actually if you're into picturing a shot, hitting a shot, 100%. you pull it off easier. 
It's unbelievable because we, I mean, I thought it was game over. It's all square playing the whole. I mean, we're on there, it's what, 20 feet for Eagle. Um, Scott's got a good chance for a birdie as well. And then, and you're like, you know, I, I, just hurry up and hit it. Come on, you're not going to get this anywhere close. And it just annoyed me because I could see you getting into your little stance. And I was like, oh, no, he's got, he's got a chance. He gets his knee bend. So you've already got rid of the, the fact your knees can disappear. I think that's partly what's good for you. So the knees can't collapse any further. So that's yeah. that's why you're comfy, Stuart. And then you hit this thing and, and I've... I, I, the camera work wasn't great because I was like, oh my God, he's actually made contact. And it's gone up and over this 100-year-old tree and I'm like, oh no. Yeah. This is going to hold that. Hey, well, and then you went first. Miss. Missed. So I've got a putt for the half, Donald, to half the game from 20 feet, straight up the hill, haven't hold a putt all day. None of us have. Do miracles happen? Oh, get away oh. with you. <laughs> no chance. <laughs> I'm distraught. <laughs> Unbelievable! Thank you. Ah, I'm done. so happy. Sure, oh, that's so just happy. That's oh, painful. Was delightful. <laughs> Could was, not believe it. Was it. written in the stars. It Stuart. was. It was. It was probably the most ha the happiest I've been on a golf course for a long time. You know. So it's another game that's gone down the last. I know you think this is scripted, but if you <laughs> see how bad a golf is, it cannot possibly be scripted. Yeah, I mean, this no. is just—it's unbelievable how they've all gone down the last. It's good. What's your favourite hole at Balburnie, Scott? I quite like uh, I quite like the, the par 3 down the hill Is it 9? 7 <laughs> Oh my god <laughs> I don't even like that one That's the only one I can remember <laughs> There's like a par 3 near 9 Is, is 12 the really uh, the tight one Okay cool the Ask me again <laughs> <laughs> right, So uh, um, What's your favourite Let's Favourite hole What's your favourite hole Scott? Um, I'm going to say 12. Nice tight tee shot with a demanding second shot. So yeah, 12. I like 12. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Donald, do you got a favourite hole? Uh, probably 12 or 18. 18 yeah. 18's a good finishing hole uh, in front of the clubhouse. Yeah. You know, the, the, the clubhouse looks over it. It was great when the, when the balcony was in the clubhouse. It was probably the best clubhouse in Fife to sit and watch the golf. Uh, you can get eagles, you can get folk so dumping it into the yeah. water, you can get folk hit out of bounds. So, yeah, 18's probably my favourite. Yeah, I'm, I'm, yeah, and I'm with Donald. I think 18 for me is the, is the, is, is the hole I, I enjoy playing the most. There's a nice big wide fairway and then you've got all of the... You don't know what to shout to your ball in the air, do you? Because you're playing from that much of an elevation, so it makes it exciting. Well, I know what to shout to your <clears> ball when it's snap hooking, whirling <laughs> towards the car. car. Four! <laughs> <laughs> no, 18's definitely the one that I remember when I look back on... Balburnie Park Golf yep, Club yeah definitely okay so um, if you go on to our YouTube channel which you're probably already there if you're watching this are you? yeah but you could, this yeah. could be on Facebook um, make sure and subscribe like the video give it a thumbs up that's what you do eh? thumbs up and share and that's it and we are off to play I think <laughs> the next course we're playing is Lady Bank so that'll yeah, be good we'll look forward to that one so that'll be good fun yeah. uh, okay thank you guys uh, Donald thank you P Peter cheers and Scott thank you bye